This thing has been absolutely painful, Facebook. Let's just jump in and take a look just so we're all on the same page. Here's the stock chart. This is what Facebook has done since coming public. And you can see, look, up here, priced at 38 bucks. And what happened? Well, it went to actually 45 if you bought it that same morning. I hope you didn't. That's painful. It has dropped about 50%. Absolutely painful. A brutal ride in Facebook. But don't take my word for it. Just look at the guy behind the whole thing. Mr. Zuckerberg himself, Mark Zuckerberg, look at this, actually wearing a tie, not the, uh, not the standard hoodie. He's got to get serious and go to work because he's losing a lot of money. When it came public on May 18th, he was worth $19 billion. He's now worth about $10.2 billion. He went from being, an, in effect, the 26th wealthiest man in the world to the 86th. That's a lot of money. Okay, he's still the 86th wealthiest man, but let me show you some of the other guys that have lost money. And again, just absolutely painful. Right here, Sean Parker, Founders Fund. 4.2 million shares. What does that cost him? Well, about 75. Oh, look at that. They're going to move this over on me. Uh, Peter Thiel, Facebook director, 28 million shares. Guess how much money he's lost? Call it about half a million, uh, half a billion, with a B, half a billion dollars. And meanwhile, Jim Breyer over here, he has lost, this is so painful, $2.3 billion. That's what happens when IPOs aren't so hot. They actually burn your fingers off. Maybe that's why they call them hot IPOs or not. And by the way, if you yourself are thinking of buying any Facebook, let me show you why you may not necessarily want to do that. Not yet, anyway. The IPO, 421 million shares. Yesterday, 271 million shares came off of lockup, some of the early investors. But guess what? Here, November, 1.2 billion shares are coming. This is when employees can start to sell. You add all that up, it's about 1.9 billion shares coming on the market. Why would you buy Facebook with that much stock still being held in private hands that's only going to come on to the public markets? Hang on, Deirdre. If you're thinking of buying, maybe you can buy it a little cheaper a little later.